Hello there, we have been talking about different story formats and we are talking, we are in talking terms with Friat Act Pyramid which is consists of five distinct act, exposition, rising action, climax, falling action and denouement. Now let us understand what each stage means. Now exposition, if you are scared about the term called exposition, it simply means introduction, you know. There is a concern also that Freitag has not used this term, but we will talk about it later uh, or denouement, things like that. We will talk about that later. Now, let us understand what exposition means. If anybody comes and tells you what is exposition of the story, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about introduction part. Do not be carried away by the terminology. The narrative has to start at a specific point and according to Freitag pyramid, this occurs during the exposition phase of a story. All the stories, that, that means all the stories are starting during the phase of exposition which is introduction. Obviously, it does not matter whether you are using a linear story format or a non-linear story format. Obviously, any sort of uh, visual that you start with will become the part of exposition. The initial narrative phase sometimes referred to as introduction. <laughs> as I said, exposition means introduction or act 1 as per Aristotle's standard or, or include all these things, you know, means exposition. Now, this crucial component establishes the backdrop, encompasses the temporal and spatial dimension of the plot while also introducing the principal characters and cultivating the overall ambience of the narrative. Now, obviously, because it is part of introduction, you know, it is called exposition, you know, so, so it introduction of anything becomes, you know, very, very important because this establishes the tone, the, the tone for the entire film, uh, what sort of a world spatial dimension what sort of a world we are going to enter, who are the characters, you know, um, primary characters, secondary characters, whether they are round characters, whether they are flat characters, you know, uh, if you remember we talked about these things, and whether he, is, he or she is a protagonist, whether he or she is an antagonist, you know, whatever the world of, of visuals that we are going to get into is part of exposition. Now, the exposition provides the reader or the viewers because Freitag's um, pyramid is not only used in films, it also used in novel writing, short story writing, advertisement writing. So, all these things that is why we in terms of uh, uh, audience, we have viewers also, we have readers also, you know. So, when we are talking about exposition, we are basically talking about, you, you know, settings, characters, style, uh, you know, their, their relationship. Now, if I, in terms of relationship, I always give this very specific example, which I am going to give you now, that um, whatever the relationship one character holds with another, now, it is extremely popular in terms of, uh, um, you know, 60s cinema or 70s cinema and there is a very famous dialogue, you know, when the mother is introduced for the first time on screen, obviously by the setting of the visuals we understand that she is going to be the mother of the protagonist, but hero confirms it, you know, or, or, or the heroine confirms it and says, you know, maa mein ghar aagai, you know, the moment, you know, they say maa mein ghar aagai uh, or pitaji aap kaise hain, you know, when, when I my when my son meets me in my in the house so he does not say pitaji aap kaise hain you know so literal tra translation of that is father how are you obviously they say how are you you know how was your day how it has been how you have been you know so nobody says pitaji aap kaise hain you know which which becomes slightly awkward if my son says that to me uh, you know father how are you now the, the, that word father which the relation that I have with him, you know, th that can really, you know, itch me off, you know, why is, you know, so this interrelationship, you know, I, I always give this 
एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इंटर रिलेशनशिप इन माई क्लास के माँ मैं आ गई या माँ मैं आ गया या पिताजी मैं घर आ गई सो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वेन दे आर इंट्रोड्यूस सो दे वर्बली इस्टेब्लिश द रिलेशन फॉर रेस्ट ऑफ द फिल्म सो इंटर रिलेशनशिप इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक सपोज इफ देर इज अस्टर देर इज अ ब्रदर इन द फिल्म भैया आप कैसे हैं यू नो ऑल ऑल दोज थिंग सो यू इस्टेब्लिश दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ अ रिलेशन समटाइम इफ फादर इज डेड यू विजुअली यू नो इस्टेब्लिश बिकॉज द द बॉय और द गर्ल इज स्टैंडिंग नेक्स्ट टू द फोटो ऑफ द डिसीज पर्सन सो ऑल दैट इंटर रिलेशनशिप इज इस्टेब्लिश इन द पार्ट ऑफ एक्सपोजिशन द प्राइमरी फोकस ऑफ द फर्स्ट एक्ट लाइज इन इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द सेंट्रल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट थ्रू अ कैप्टिवेटिंग और स्टिमुलेटिंग इवेंट now let me give you a very interesting example with this okay suppose and when i read this example and basically it's a cartoon that i saw and i'm sharing that with you uh and out of that cartoon i i realized that it is it is a story of one of the main avengers character the story is that there is a house like suppose let's see that this flat line then rising action up till climax then falling action and then denouement okay so let's take exposition now there is a house you know then you know inciting incident that i was saying that i'll be talking about so the mother goes to hospital the boy a young boy is you know very and this is a cartoon that i saw you know a very obviously in cartoon there is a foam mobile phone and because the boy takes the mobile phone and runs away and then he is then he is abducted now so there is a family a house home hospital mother is being carried to hospital the boy comes to know that his mother is going to die when she dies the boy runs away he comes in a ground he is being abducted from a spacecraft okay then from climax point of view he is in love with a alien girl okay now the following action that he is fighting for that girl okay and the denouement part that they are living happily together now when i saw this cartoon trust me it reminded me of star lord and think of not only the film think of the uh, you know back story why he has been abducted so that becomes a prequel that becomes a prequel or sequel you know in 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 our sense that is a sequel you know when father comes and you know uh, why he was abducted at the first place you know so all all these things now this is a beautiful what did i say uh, an example that w- what fire tag means when he comes to a short film when he comes to a long film and when he comes to make an advertisement like suppose if i show you a hyundai ad which i'll be taking uh, you know snap screenshots in the next presentation and by showing one screenshot then i say that this follows this particular specific fry tag stage then i show you another visual and say that this is how rising action is being shot then i show you third picture then i show you that how climax is there then i show you how falling action is there and then i show you how denouement stage is there you know then it becomes easy to understand always remember this one one example family house hospital mother dies boy runs being abducted as the climax part comes he is in love with the alien girl falling action comes he is fighting for that alien girl and the denouement is that they are living happily together you know so technically in one minute you you have completely witnessed fire tag pyramid structure now first i talked about interrelationship then i talked about that central conflict you know now this particular central conflict that mother has died the boy has been kidnapped or abducted now there is a possibility of prequel also and there is a possibility of sequel also now technically you your, your structure is ready for three films you know 
now commonly referred to as exciting fo force or you know um, you know in, in, inciting incident for that matter or inciting incident according to Freytag pyramid the exposition occupies the lowest part of the right left yes left side of the structure you know now look this is um, if you remember that um, there is a ABX model in com ABX model of c communication you know um, ABX model of communication now you have a B and X you know so when you see structures of of the theories that is part of your slavers ABX model you know then a becomes individual B becomes organization X becomes you know government agency or a construct of a social milieu and this how these three things are in in correspondence with each other so in the same way Freytag uh, pyramid the exposition acquires the lowest part on the left side of the drama which is like uh, structurally which which you have seen now the first dramatic arc you know because there are five dramatic arc exposition is first dramatic arc serves as a means for the reader to better understand the character circumstances and interpersonal dynamics subsequently a captivating occurrence transpires instigating the emergence of a conflict that propels the narrative progression now when i say you know it propels the narrative progression or a captivating occurrence transpires or instigating the emergence of a conflict if you're now again the same topic that i always talk about the believability i'm not going to talk talk about that extensively because that is something that i have a uh, lot many times talked about but again you know when we are talking about you, you know circumstances interpersonal dyna dynamics um, you know captivating occurrences or exciting incidents you know which can you know logically lead to a very you know a uh, a very logical consequence or logical incident now on some you know few weeks back i was watching uh, three idiots uh, obviously that is one of the very good films that i a lot of time i quote from that film now imagine what will you do if you know uh, you are insulted you know in terms of i'm i'm talking about um, Uh, silencer what 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 will you do if you are insulted because um, because of your friends or because of your classmates in front of entire college whereas you are trying to make a impression in front of everyone that you are intelligent that you are very sincere that you are very uh, you know that you are very very genuine individual you know you may hate um you may hate uh, silencer but what you cannot deny that he may he may be foolishly you know serious but what you cannot deny that he is a hard working individual you know so if you are being insulted in front of your colleagues friends what is your natural reaction what is your or my natural what what will my natural reaction will be obviously those who has conspired against me okay i will go and talk to them and that is what exactly silencer he does when he comes on the rooftop ki 10 saal ke baad milenge aur phir dekhenge ki tu kahan hai aur main kahan hai yahi milenge 10 saal ke baad and then he itches the date 19 september i think um on the newly uh, uh, plastered wall of 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 that area you know so i was what i was observing when i was watching it that if you as a writer are able to give logical incident one after another obviously once your one sequence is of over 
then you can set the tone for the next sequence and then you see whether first see first sequence and second sequence at least there has to be uh, minimum seven sequences for a two hour film which is not a very formal calculation but in majority of the film it has been seen that at least seven uh, sequences are required to make a, a full uh, uh, you know full length feature film now somebody can ask me salim sir what is uh, um, you know sequence i give you an example of bahubali the child is being chased the the rajmata and the child is being chased rajmata gets killed the boy is raised by a group of people that group of people really loves bahubali bahubali gets a marks you know and all that ki shivling uthage kandhe pe maa ke liye la ke niche rakh diya all that and then he goes in the the world which is beyond the mountains or in the cloud you know technically so this entire thing that i have talked from rajmata boy get rajmata getting killed being taken care of by the kabila and then grown up shivling kandhe pe leke aana maa ke liye नदी मतलब झरने में रख देना कि कॉन्स्टेंटली जो है वो उस पर पानी आता रहे उसके बाद में यू नो यू हैव मास्क विच इज कैटलिस्ट यू नो इफ यू रिमेंबर इन बीट शीट दर हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट कैटलिस्ट एंड देन ही सीज अ गर्ल गोज बी ऑन द माउंटेन दिस इज वन सीक्वेंस टेक्निकली यू कैन ब्रेक इट इन टू टू ऑल्सो फ्रॉम यू नो बींग स्मॉल टू बींग लव्ड बाय द एंटायर ट्राइब देन you may also break it from the point catalyst or that mask is there to getting into cloud then once he reaches there so technically one or two as per you decide then once he reaches beyond the cloud beyond the mountains sees the girl meets and he gets into fight and then introduce two different kind of people not the people that that were the part of tribe somewhere down the stream so this is how you decide what a, a a sequence is so technically there are seven sequences so you know dynamic sequence uh, subsequently a captivating occurrence transpires so instigating the emergence of conflict so whatever it is you know the conflict uh, if you remember that i was talking about hook hook part hook part so as soon as bahubali starts uh, yes i was uh, yes let me finish this then i'll get back to three idiot so as soon as the bahubali starts there is a lady who is properly dressed up in expensive clothes with expensive jewelry has got a sword in his, um, has has got a baby you know in in jungle absolutely unattended wounded so the moment you see this specific visual you realize what is happening why she is here if she is so uh, gracefully dressed up you know from jewelry from appearance she looks like uh, as if she belongs to um you know b- b- higher class in that uh, region or uh, higher class in that kingdom you know because it's a historical film so suddenly with though you are watching visual like suppose if you are watching me right now and suddenly you see a very expensive watch in my hand and you are able to notice that then obviously you start anticipating about my background you know what from where i come from why a teacher you know usually do not put on such expensive watches you know so if you are able to note that then you will make a sense of my background doesn't matter whether that is like absolutely true or not um you know what sort of a story you make in your mind but that will be a hook point for you to think about me in the same way in bahubali when you see that sort of a lady with a newborn baby with diff- dressed up in a very nice way and she is very expert in terms of uh, of uh, um, fencing or so, uh, in in terms of how to move a uh, a sword you know so you start you know guessing okay there is a back st- back story okay we'll get to know about it you know so though you are like it is something like suppose you you are watching this stage but this stage is such that you know that something has happened before 
and something will happen after. So, what will happen after for that you have come and sit in the cinema hall. So, you know narrative progression how you start your film you know I always say it that how you start your film will decide how people are going to see it very you know stupid sort of a statement if somebody says no no sir it's it's not a great statement what do you have said that the way somebody starts the film this is how you know that will decide whether whether people will see the film or not yes but that's true you know, like uh, I, I i tell you um, not now because everybody is busy on mobile phone now nowadays uh, you can sw- you know you can move forward or you can uh, move backward the film but when you do not have a contr- imagine there is a very good film coming on uh, HBO which you have not seen like Band of Brothers for the first time I saw on it on HBO I did not see it before it was released on HBO so when I saw Band of Brothers hardly for 2-3 minutes then I realized that no this is something interesting I need to sit down and see it you know and this happens especially in these days when your products will be available on OTT platform you know every scene it is not only true about narrative progression in terms of exposition what am I saying now this is academic language which I have just said and I realized this is this is very complicated I said what I said I, I just said narrative progression of exposition you know now what technically i should have said you know um, uh, you should have interesting uh, incident in the beginning of the film you know this is something this is how we talk about you know uh, interesting incident uh, in the beginning of the film what i said narrative progression of exposition you know i think that is also one of the problems like uh, and I accept it that when we are talking about writing you know when we are talking about creative process when we are talking about giving birth to a product of creativity I think if if you make the language or if you make or you if you express this in a very complicated language chances are that many people like me many people like you you know we lose the essence of what the speaker or the writer is trying to say you know narrative progression of exposition very difficult language this is you know whereas it should have been said in um, interesting incident in uh, becoming the part of of uh, of introduction you know or I, I i could have said or i should have said you know that uh, we have interesting incidents in in the beginning of the film or start your film with interesting incident now if i say that you should start your film uh, with some interesting incident is this comp- is this easy to understand or if I say you know narrative progression of exposition now you choose it for yourself how should I say it you know interesting scenes in the beginning of the film or narratives progression in exposition you know I think that is one of the problems that when it comes to creativity when it comes to creating something um, People, you know, sometimes I used to wonder uh, that what a producer does, you know, he has got money, he makes film, what his role, you know, he is only bothered about money. But when I got up to the level of executive producer, then I realized, no, 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 producer is, I think, more important than the director, technically. Producer is more important than the director because it is his or her understanding which is actually steering the wheel of creativity because director may be very passionate about his his or her film but it is the producer which is like no 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 don't take right dangerous 
don't take two left very very dangerous keep it straight because i have been on this road i know every turn every cut every stone every debris on this road you know so i used to earlier blame you know um directors technically and i sometimes say that producers need to be very very educated because they have the vision you know and a lot of people are not able to understand this but you know that beginning of of a film or i must say the producer per se is far more important than the director and the entire film if your beginning is right chances are that the entire journey is right let's say it in a difficult way narrative progression in the form of ex- exposition need to be of a high quality thank you very much